the JAMA Network. On most college campuses here in the U.S. and around the world, unhealthy alcohol use can cause problems for a lot of students. Worldwide, we see huge issues with students who have developed problems with drinking that continue into adulthood that really have a societal cost to us, and it's really critical to be addressing those early and often. Dr. Nicholas Horton from Amherst College and co-authors used an online questionnaire to identify students with unhealthy alcohol habits from all seven universities in New Zealand. This study was done amongst a sample of students who exhibited fairly moderate to heavy drinking. Half the students were assigned at random to receive personalized feedback on their drinking. This included how much they were spending on alcohol each year and their blood alcohol level after drinking. The other students received no personalized feedback. Five months later, researchers followed up to learn how much they were drinking overall, how many drinks they had each time they drank, the size of each drink, if it affected their schoolwork, and if the drinking caused them harm. The median number of drinks per occasion for students in the intervention group ended up being four drinks per session, as opposed to a median of five for the control group. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. There were decreases, though not statistically significant, on the other outcomes. This gave us some indication that there were modest decreases that were due to the intervention. 17% of the students didn't participate in the follow-up, and researchers say that may have contributed to the intervention group doing a bit better. While the web-based intervention may help, it isn't the only approach to decrease college drinking. We need to be thinking comprehensively about ways to decrease college student drinking to educate students. And this may be part of that, but it may not be the whole answer for students. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.